Well, hello, and welcome to a new series here we're doing on Clean My Space called Deep Cleans, a raw and unbiased review of some of the most popular cleaning products out there from the perspective of a cleaning expert. These videos are not sponsored in any way, and they're designed to provide you with everything you need to know about how these products work, where to best use them, how to best use them, and some health and safety information that you should know for you, your pets, and your family. Now in this episode, we're going deep on Barkeeper's Friend. This is one of the most underrated cleaners on the shelf. Maybe not underrated, but maybe unsuspecting. So let me tell you why. Barkeeper's Friend has been manufacturing and selling its canned scouring powders since 1882. It was originally invented by chemist George William Hoffman in Indianapolis, Indiana, and sold to bars. Hence the name Barkeeper's Friend and the funky little bar doors on the logo. The primary active ingredient is oxalic acid, which makes it particularly good at removing rust. And it's interesting to note that the original formulation is still being manufactured to the same specifications as it was in 1882. Good things don't need to change. The Barkeeper's Friend brand has expanded to include liquid, cream, and spray cleaners, along with specialty cleaners and even commercial cleaners to handle counters, cooktops, cookware, sinks, you name it. Since 1957, Barkeeper's Friend has been manufactured by Servas Laboratories, and data from 2016 shows that the product was manufactured at a rate of 60,000 cans per day. This is popular stuff. As I mentioned earlier, the key ingredient in Barkeeper's Friend is oxalic acid. Now, it, like other acidic cleaning products, is really good at removing some very tough stains. There are some precautions that you need to take around it. And even though it's a fairly friendly looking white powder, you still do want to be careful. Acids have the ability to etch or slightly damage a surface. They're also not great for getting on your skin. You clearly don't want to inhale them or get them in your eyes. So what I'm going to start by doing is just reading some of the warnings on the back of the package because I think that's something that often gets skipped. So it's an eye irritant, a skin irritant, possibly if you get it on there. You are not at any point supposed to mix it with other chemicals. I've been reading online, mix it with vinegar, mix it with dish soap. Just don't do it. It is so powerful on its own. And if you have the need for an alternate formulation, go for the cream or the liquid cleanser because you'll get the viscosity or the consistency that you need if powder isn't cutting it for you. This is an incredibly powerful product on its own. It does not need to be mixed. Obviously, don't swallow, don't get it in eyes, don't get it on your skin or your clothing. And it's got this little sticker on top similar to other powdered products. You want to keep that on at all times when it's not being used because it is not good to inhale. So you want to make sure that you're very, very careful with it. This is not a cleaning product that frightens me, but it's always good to understand the limits and the areas that you need to practice safety when you are using a product. Barkeeper's Friend is also something that I would wear gloves when I'm working with it. Uh, it also suggests that you wear safety glasses. I mean, companies have to say a lot of things on their packaging. As long as you're very careful with it, you'll know the right amount of PPE that you need to use this product. I also recommend anytime you're using a product like this, just ventilate if you're in a small area like a bathroom. And one final note, you don't want your kids and pets getting into this, so please keep it in a safe place. One of the things I hear from people when they talk about cleaning products and being in the cleaning aisle is this sense of overwhelm. Like, how am I supposed to know what product to pick? Or, you know, Barkeeper's Friend has several different product options. Which one is right for me? And I know how confusing it can get. And the other thing I will say is that a lot of these products cross one another. Like, they can multitask and do the same job. So what I wanna do now is just kind of break down the product line and help you understand what each particular formulation can do. So let's start with their basic powder in the gold can. This is like the most popular one, the one that you see everywhere. It is like magic for using on stainless steel sinks. Oh my gosh, like you know me, I love using baking soda to clean a stainless steel sink, but Barkeeper's Friend does put that little bit of extra sparkle on the sink, I promise you. Um, so what's it safe for? Let's talk about this first. So on the label, it talks about being safe for stainless steel, 
porcelain, ceramic, copper, brass, which is really interesting because oftentimes you have to be careful around copper or brass when you're using certain products. So this is actually safe for that. Fiberglass, which would especially be important for someone with a fiberglass tub or shower, we have one of those. Corian, chrome, and aluminum. So all really good things to know. Um, the way in which you want to use this product is, and this is the cleansing powder, you would have your surface and you would gently portion out some of the product onto the surface. You would then wet your sponge or your cloth and you would clean it immediately. This isn't the type of product where you pre-treat. So oftentimes I'll tell you, put a product on the surface, let it sit and do its work. Barkeeper's friend, is very reactive and in fact it's not recommended that it sits on a surface for more than a minute because it's an acid it can cause some etching if used on a particularly delicate surface so their rule of thumb is don't sprinkle it and leave it untended don't wet it and leave it untended you want to work this product and have it rinsed off all within one minute's time and actually that's how powerful it is now, when we're in the kitchen, the specific uses that the powders, these gold products are good for, and in fact, it extends to this soft cleanser, which I'll cover in one sec, uh, would be kitchen. So to clean cookware, sinks, stoves, oven doors. We actually have a video on me using some BKF to clean the glass oven door. Amazing. Uh, Non-stone countertops. So we always talk about, is it safe to use on marble and granite? So this is telling you, no, it's not. Um, and drained floors. BKF will make your pots and pans shine like new. I can attest, it is incredible. Uh, use BKF to buff out knife marks on ceramic plates. I call that spider webbing, but you know if you look at a plate and you kind of see those, those awful marks, it's really great at dealing with that. Even buffing up your cutlery that looks terrible after months and months of washing, you know, it kind of gets that dull finish. This will brighten it right up. In the bathroom, you can use your BKF, and by the way, they call it BKF, and like fans, it's like a little nickname, but BKF, Barkeeper's Friend, same thing. Um, use it to clean sinks, tubs, showers, faucet, to toilets, tile, and grout. So yes, if you have some freaky grout, you can test this on there. It really does work well. Um, it'll quickly and completely remove mineral deposits, soap scum, and rust stains. So if you're in an area where you are constantly seeing rust in your toilet, in your shower, this is gonna be a product that would be very helpful for you. Even outdoors, it's great for stainless steel grills, barbecues, vinyl siding, tools, hardware, ornaments, boats, and sport, gosh, do I wish I had a boat, and sporting equipment. Uh, use it to clean vehicle surfaces that you have first tested. So one of the things that they say all across their website, one of the things that I always tell you guys whenever we're talking about cleaning products is to test in an inconspicuous or hidden area first. Now, I know that some people use this to buff out car scratches, but I wouldn't take it to a new car. I would test it in a very hidden area first and just make sure we don't have any issues, then I would proceed. Um, it's saying with vehicles, use a pail of water and a sponge to hose and rinse BKF. Another tip that they give you right here, and this is something we've talked about, particularly when you're cleaning your stainless steel appliances, is you always wanna work in the direction of the grain or the lines that you see in your stainless steel or your metal. That way you're not gonna be creating any micro scratches. They don't want you to use this on gold, silver, they say ster sterling silver is okay, but otherwise gold, silver, polished stone or surfaces that are lacquered, painted or mirrored. Finally, this is safe for septic systems. Now, if you're wondering why they came out with the soft cleanser, it's the same reason why, you know, you have products like Comet and Soft Scrub or Vim, because some people just prefer this type of delivery. You know, if you're cleaning a tub or a sink, you might just prefer to have it pre-mixed. So that's the only difference here. The product will perform the exact same function. It's just the delivery method that's different. So it's entirely up to you which one you pick from the standard gold line. This bottle here is Barkeeper's Friend More. It removes more from most hard surfaces, uh, mineral deposits, um, oily residues, oh, rust stains, are e everyday grime. So this is like if you were on a heavy duty cleaning or you hadn't cleaned something in a very long time and you just wanna level up that task, 
this probably would be more effective and stronger than this. You know how I always say in cleaning, start with something simple and then level up if it can't tackle the job? Like if you know you're going into a difficult situation, just bring out the big guns. Finally, they've got their line specifically designed for cookware. Um, many people like to clean their stainless steel cookware with a cleansing slash polishing powder. They come from different brands, but this one, obviously, if you're a fan of the BKF line, you might want to pick this one up. Um, and the same with the multi-purpose cooktop cleaner. We used to have a glass cooktop, now we have a gas cooktop. But I can tell you after probably close to 12 years of working in a kitchen with a glass cooktop, one of these products can really give you a hand over time. So Chad, actually bought every skew at our local grocery store of Barkeeper's Friends. So this was what was available to us. But if you go online or to big box stores, you might find even a larger selection of Barkeeper's Friends. My hope is that now you understand what to look for and what the various applications are for the product line. Remember, anything that's cream is sort of easier to work with on a surface powder allows you to be a little bit more direct and a little quicker. And then the foam spray product is specifically for those heavy duty cleaning jobs that you have at home. My thoughts on Barkeeper's Friend are this. I have been working with this product for well over 10 years. I often talk about having a mix of specialty products and DIY products or basic pantry cleaning products at home. And I like to kind of start with the pantry stuff and use that as my basic kind of everyday cleaning product arsenal. But that said, there always will be a space for store-bought or specialty products because frankly, sometimes they can just do more. And that's why I think the range from Barkeeper's Friend is so helpful. It's really versatile, it works quickly, I'm lazy, I think most of you know that by now. I don't like cleaning, and I like a product that can do the work for me. I don't want something that's scary and terrifying to have in my house. And I think the Barkeeper's Friend really strikes a great balance. The other thing that is so interesting about Barkeeper's Friend is they are a small, like a small family run business. I have called them before, like I just called their office before because I had a question about it. It was like the marketing director who answered the phone and she's like, oh, hello, Melissa. She knew who I was and she answered my questions and, you know, call me if you have any other questions. It's just like this family run, like friendly little business and they have this huge fan base. I remember when I was talking to her, she told me that people call her every day and tell her new uses for Barkeeper's Friend. And that truly to me is the mark of a successful product. When you have this raving fan base, it's kind of small, family owned. They have this one formula that's just been working for them for years. And I've seen it in action. I know how hard this product can work. Now, the way that I use it at home is I bring it out when I have a big cleaning challenge ahead of me or something where, you know, I don't feel like being so patient and sort of using my DIY stuff. Like, I'll just use this for the quick and dirty, you know, and I'll, I'll get my results fast. But that said, I always gear up, like I'll wear gloves when I'm using it. And when Riley, my daughter, gets a little bit older and starts cleaning, I won't get her into actual products like this until she can fully understand the breadth of health and safety requirements for using a product like this. So I'd get her more into like vinegar and baking soda and dish soap well before I'd ever get her into using a specialty product like this. I think the Barkeeper's Friend is a product that every household should have. And I can say that, as I told you earlier, this is not a sponsored video, but I've just seen this solve far too many problems for somebody to be in a cleaning conundrum and not have this under their sink. It's a little bit more expensive than your run of the mill cleaning product, but it's also one of those things that will last you a really long time. I'll also say this, if you're a professional cleaner, this is something that should totally be in your arsenal. Time is money in the cleaning business and this product works quickly. You can get great results in the least amount of time using something powerful like this. So as a professional cleaner, I can tell you I've used this on jobs and I think it's a great thing to have in your cleaning kit. We talked about making videos like this last year because there was definitely an appetite from the wonderful Clean My Space community for more details 
about the very cleaning products that they see each and every day. So our goal was to make something that was super comprehensive and I feel like we've accomplished that with Barkeeper's Friend. But there's one more job to be done and that is gonna happen in the comments. What I would love for you, for you to do if you're a fan or a user of Barkeeper's Friend is let me know in the comments down below where you love using it and what successes you've had with it because I want other people to be able to go to the comments and see how other people are using it in a safe and effective way. So let me know your uses and loves for BKF in the comments down below. Two other things while you're down there in the comments section, let us know what you think of this deep clean series and what products you would like to see us tackle next. If you're curious about how to clean a stainless steel sink, whether you're using baking soda or BKF, you can check out our video on the proper technique for how to do that. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the Clean My Space channel. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.